Hello guys, so in today's lecture, we are going to talk about or start about medical from allergy. Terminology. That which term we generally use in medical microbiology, especially infection. That let's start with the host. What do you mean by host? Someone which carries RN1. It is called host. Now, let's start about the host and microorganism interaction. Then which type of interactions are found in host and micro? The first is the parasitology. Parasite. Now, what is parasite? In parasite, the host is goes damage due to the effect of parasite. And by parasite or the organism, it gets benefit. This is called parasite. That one will be a damage and one will be benefit. This is the simple condition of disease where we are the host are damaged and the organism or pathogen which is inside us will benefit. Now the second is saprophytes. Saprophyte is a type of organism which is live on a dead organic matter. It is not a simply a pathogen but sometimes it causes disease. The third one is a commensal. It is generally found. In commensal, what happens? The host is neutral. It means nothing happened with the host, but the organism, the visitor, especially we use visitor will be got benefit. For example, our skin flow, which doesn't damage us. Nothing does with us, but they got benefit, they grow on our skin. Now, fourth one is mutants. Now, what is mutant? In mutants, the both host and visitor or organism, both get benefit. Both have something to take from each other. For example, our gut flora. We require our gut flora for something injection of all, something malnutrition or some enzyme we need. Like some vitamins we need from our E. coli found in the intestine. And the visitor, they what required, they what required, they require a space or area to grow and the nutrient we take, they take from our intestine. Now this is the interaction. Now let's talk about some infection and disease. Now, what is infection? Infection is nothing but a lodgement and multiplication of any organism in host tissue. Cell. It is called infection. Now, simply organism come into host tissue, inject, and they multiply. But it doesn't mean it always result in disease condition because the millions of para, millions of organism touches in us. They inject, they infect us. They infect us, but they cannot be result in disease. But in disease condition, always infection is found. So, vice versa is possible. Like. In infection, there is no way or not always result in a disease, but always in a disease, there is an infection which is cause a disease. Now, what is disease? It is a condition in which our normal body, which is carrier doing work, is not doing properly. Through some disturbance, it is called a disease. Now, what is pathogen? Agent which cause disease 
or infection. Now, what is pathogenicity, which is related to pathogen? City. It is ability to cause infection or disease. Now, this is the basic terminology used in medical microbiology or medical field. I hope you understand. I hope you learn. Thank you.